Yo, what up? This your boy Mar from Obese for MachineMasters.com, and I'm coming to you with a quick tutorial on the Beatmaker 2 app. Um, I've been getting a lot of um, DMs, a lot of messages on uh, if I had any tutorials. So what I'm gonna do, man, I'm gonna take a, I'm gonna do this real quick tutorial uh, just to kind of give you the basics on how to use this app. All right. So as I open it up. If you're new to the app, you will have start a new project because if you just if this is your first time using the app, you wouldn't have any any projects to be able to go to. Uh, but once you start once you start making uh, pro making different uh, beats in the program, you have your last save, last auto save, which it will open up to the last uh, beat that you were working on, or you can load projects, or you can start a new project. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just open up my last autosave. You have your song mode, you have your signature, your loop start, uh, your loop duration, you have your BPMs, you can go up and down, et cetera, et cetera. You have your record, you can you have your note repeater, you have your overdub, you have a note, your note erase, and you have your automation takeover, which you can do automation in this program as well. All right, and then you have your swing, you have your pre-roll, and you have your quantize in here. All right. Um, now, how to get started. So let's just say, for instance, I want to start off with some drums. So I will hit the home button up here. I will go to instrument. You have drums, you have a keyboard, you have audio track, you have your FX bus, you have audio enter, um, audio apps, which we will get into in another uh, tutorial and you have the Beatmaker Sound Store which you can uh, go to their website and buy different uh, constructive uh, constructive kits uh, etc there but right now I'm going to open up a drum all right uh, so what I can do here I can either load load a kit which these kits are, are these are presets that come with Beatmaker or I could go here and open up content here. I have kits, drum kits that I've already made in the past, so I can easily hit on one of those, hit load, and it will open it up. In this case, we're going to just hit empty preset, open up the drum machine. As you see the drum machine, you have uh, 16 pads, you have your... Uh, you have your low preset, save presets. You have your chops. You have your chop button here that you can open up samples and you can uh, create chops from there. Um, what I normally do, which I will show you as well, uh, you have your load samples. You have your your quick samples, which allow you to just kind of skim through here. Then you can drag different samples to the uh, to the pads. Uh, you have your record. If you want to record some vocals or you had a turntable set up, you can actually record into into there. You have your edit samples. This is where all the chopping and the stretching and all this stuff takes place, which we'll get into that. Uh, you have your edit, your bounds between, you know, you can edit, make it if you want to one shot it, hold it, loop one shot hold etc and you have your fade in fade out buttons and if you want to take if I want to clear this pad all I had all I would have to do is hit clear hit yes boom so basically if I'm going to load up a sample I'm going to hit load go to my content uh, let's see go to my BM2 folder boom all right, so then you see all my different uh, waves here. One thing, um, one thing that this app didn't have that I do like that they do have now is that you can audition the uh, the the instrument before you kick, you play it in. So you hit play. Very simple. You can hear what you're putting on the pads. All right, so. I'm going to go with a kick. I'm going to add a snare. Let's see. Snare. Let's 
something I always like to do. I like to adjust the volume each pad. Add maybe some hi hats. Let's see. All right, and I've basically loaded up a kit. So, just say for instance, I want to record that. What I would do, I can, I would have my loop already. Make sure I have it on one sixteen. Uh, what I tend to do, I tend to, um, you, uh, I tend to bring the quantize up to one ninety six, which allows me to have more of a swing to it. It's almost like if I'm if I don't have it quantized. So, and then I will hit. All right, and there you have it. And this is how you load up samples into the drum machine. We will cover the keyboard on how those functionalities work. And if you have any questions or if there's something that you want me to cover in particular, please leave me a comment below. All right. It's your boy Morphin with Beats, MachineMaster.com. Grace and peace.